from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. Okay. Unfortunately, we need to face a little bit of a fact here. It's Monday. And if you're in the same position as Old Mate is currently, you are suffering from Monday-itis. As mentioned in the TBIM promo uploaded earlier, today is system building day here at Backyard Tech. Now, we've already built a computer for the other half's parents, but now that I've got extra stock in the house, I thought, you know what? Why don't I give the other half's parents close to what Old Mate runs on his main PC? So that's exactly what we're going to do. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, you are watching TBIM here at the Backyard Tech Channel, it is Monday, now, we've got two system builds to do today, and the first one, well I'm going to take the easy way out, alright, now you're probably going to say, well hang on Backyard, why are you doing the easy one first, simple, you get the easy one out of the road first, it gives you more time to do the more difficult one later in the day depending on how you're dealing with your Monday-itis situation. <laughs> okay, the other half's parents. Now, initially we built a SFF. I refurbed an SFF for them. <laughs> with all the help the other half's parents have given, not just the other half and myself as a couple, but myself personally, I thought it might be nicer for them to have something close to what I have. Now, unfortunately, we did build up an SFF PC, small form factor desktop. Only I can see where that is gonna cause problems at her parents' house. So I've decided we're gonna use one of the towers that I've now got. And what we're gonna use is, uh, I think one if not both of them are Z97M plus motherboards with Core i5s on them. But because I have stock now, we're going to do some modifications. I'm actually going to give them um, 32 gig of RAM, a Core i5, and the brand new MX19.1 release. So, let me get a screen, keyboard, and mouse, and let's get building. Alrighty, so it's powered up. If I show you, oops, sorry, if I show you over here. There it is there. So it's powered up. Um, I can zoom you in. Still can't zoom properly on this thing. Okay. So, whether you guys can read that or not, I don't know. Oop, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So we've got a Z97M Plus motherboard. We have a Core i5 4590 at 3.3 gig and 16 gig of RAM. So what I need to do first off is, well, if I take you back down to the actual computer, zoom you guys out a bit, take you back down. There are two cards just here, two Ethernet cards. We don't need them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to power it off. I'm going to grab my screwdriver wherever I've put it. I've lost it again. <laughs> Let me get my screwdriver out and we'll take out the two Ethernet cards that are there and um, do the RAM upgrade and then we'll, we'll go from there. All right, got screwdriver. Don't need these Ethernet cards in here. I think this thing was used as a... Um, a firewall if I'm honest. Now, this is where I think people are going to um, so 
this is a uh, just a generic I think this is a real tech card and that is a Intel GT Pro sorry Intel Pro 1000 GT um, Ethernet card now this is where I think people are going to have an absolute SH1T fit with me because when, when I do one of these people always say oh no you have to do it my way well your way doesn't suit what is going to be built for this okay this is for the other half's parents it's not a gaming rig it's not a server it's literally just for watching YouTube and checking emails that's it so blowing this thing out with a massive graphics card and, and and all this type of garbage is just a waste and this is why I keep saying in the fact that when I do one of these I do it to suit what it's going into okay so but in saying that considering the amount of help I've had from the other half's parents and the fact that her father is the only father figure I've got in my life nowadays I need to build them a nice PC and this is going to be better than the one we built a couple of weeks ago because I'm doing a RAM upgrade I'm boosting this thing right up so that it it's as close to what I have for them without having a Core i7 on it so we're going to give it 16 gig of RAM or sorry 32 gig of RAM Alright, and people are going to be like, oh, you should be putting a graphics card in it, and you should be upgrading the CPU to Core i7, and they, if they're checking YouTube, they really should be running a Core i9. Well, no, they damn well shouldn't be running a Core i9. <laughs> Why don't you go out and get them a full gaming rig? Well, what the hell are they going to do with it? Oh, they'll game. I don't, they're not interested in gaming. <laughs> Okay, so Core i5 at 3.3 gig. We are going to open up all the cores. I have a sneaking suspicion this was used as a firewall. We should have, I hope, 32 gig of RAM in this now. So let's see what happens. Let me fire it up and make sure there's no nasty beeps. I'll bring you back up to the plasma screen, which is right over there. Get my ugly mug out of the road. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hang on. Alright, let's get my ugly mug out of the road and uh, see if this thing comes up. Which it does not. That RAM's no good. Hmm. RAM is no good. Alright. Let me get the RAM out and see what else I've got. Alright. Oh boy. Have a read of that, will you? Let me just move the camera. Overclocking failed. All right, hang on. Let me see what I've got in the way around. Bear with me. All right. So, I've put another two sticks of RAM in from another unit. Bring it back up to the plasma. And zoom you in. I'm now getting my ugly mug on camera. All right, let's see what this does. Whoa, okay, it does not want to start, hmm, 
we do have a problem here. Um, okay, why do we not want to start? Um, Hmm. We should start. We have an issue here, guys. Alright. Hang on. Bear with me. Alright, I've just taken out the um, extra RAM. I'm going to go into the BIOS. Something about the overclocking. Bring you over a little bit. Um, oh, hang on. You see there it says something about the overclocking has failed. So if I go into F1, customize. Huh, I need a mouse. Uh, Alright, bear with me, God. I'm just going to see what's going on here. Hang on. All right, there's something funky going on here, guys. Um, Cause there seems to be this. Cuss Someone's been mucking around in this BIOS because it, it doesn't. There's this customized setting which I'm going to have to try and find. So bear with me while I do that, and I'm hoping I can fix the problem pretty quickly because I really need to get 32 gig of RAM in this unit so let me do a bit of troubleshooting and I'll be back all right so another lot of RAM um, someone's been mucking around in the BIOS guys because the settings for the overclock and everything else were really weird and for this being used as a firewall there should have been no reason to run a customized performance setting um, generally speaking when I've built firewalls I've normally just left the BIOS in normal mode you know it's not like you need a, a customized BIOS setting to run a, a firewall alrighty so let's head back to the plasma and zoom in if I can get the whole thing in frame right. let's see if this will come up now System beep. There we go. Finally. Alright. So, we now have 32 gig of RAM. Oh, let me bring you over a bit. There we go. And zoom you in. Wait for it to focus, but you can see there. 32 gig of RAM. All at 1600 meg. Um, as far as performance setting is going I'm just leaving it in normal guys I mean you know people who sit there and say oh no when you refurb a system you've got to make sure it runs in performance mode and all this sort of stuff I'm not going to worry about that frankly because I know what this computer will be used for and there is no point overclocking the living hell out of it just to watch YouTube and check email that's a waste of time money and effort as far as I'm concerned all right, so let's get in and do our all our little bits and pieces here. If I can get this camera to fit the whole screen. There we go. Okay. System time's wrong. I can fix that up shortly. What I want to go into is... If I can get that thing out of the road a bit. So, 
I'm just going to leave all this all. I tell you what, guys. Hang on. Why don't I move the camera into where you guys can actually see it better? Hold on. All right. Well, that should be better for you. Okay. So we're just going to leave that like that. Extreme over voltage I'm not using. No. Okay, so that that can all stay as is. I need to go over to advanced now. Okay. So we'll go for CPU configuration. Oops, went down too much. I'll just turn that on. Boost performance, dynamic storage, CPU, okay. All right, so get out of that, go down to there. Intel Rapid Start Technology on. Okay. So we've got a one terabyte Western Digital. I think that's a green. I don't know. I haven't even looked at the hard drive. But anyway. So we have a one terabyte WD, which is fine. Uh, yep. Okay, fine. System agent. Okay. Graphics configuration. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, memory configuration is correct. Now, what I want to do... Give them that. Okay, so that gets um, just a standard uh, system set up. Now, as far as the BIOS is concerned, it is on the latest BIOS of 2903, so I don't have to worry about the BIOS, which is nice. Uh, okay, so all I've got to do is get the, what's his name in? Uh, fast boots enabled, all devices, partial, full. So, now what I want to do is go into that, save that. It's nice when you get a system boot. Go back into the BIOS. And there we go. All done. So, now the next thing we've got to do is get MX19 put onto it and... Uh, we should be right. Anyway, all right, let me get Ventoy and everything organized and I will be back. All right, well, what I'm gonna do now is get this thing up and running. It's not there, I'll have to restart the computer. Shouldn't take too long. All right. F8, and we want that one. No, it didn't like it. All right, try the next one. There it is, Ventoy. Okay, April snapshot.
Jeez, I've got to tell you guys, I swear by Ventoy now. I'm not using any other... I'm not even using Rufus. I'm just using Ventoy and copying, you know, taking and removing uh, ISO images. There's, there's really no point using anything else. Alrighty. So, let's get this all organised. See here, it's a hell of a lot quicker. Let me just uh, clear this. Uh, we will use the entire disk. So one terabyte. Use the whole disk. Yes. Uh, yes. All right, let me get names, users and everything done and we'll be back. Alright, so we're almost done. It's nice and quick. Hard drive's a little noisy, but I don't think that's really going to bother them that much. You know, I, I just... See, the thing is, the reason I'm not worried so much about this thing being a, 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 a whopping great machine that has got so much get-up and mumbo-jumbo in it is because I know what this PC is used for. And essentially, you don't need a hyper-powerful PC just to watch YouTube and, and check emails. It, it's a waste. So, anyway, alrighty. Let's get this restarted as soon as I can. Pull that out. I think we're done with this unit. Let's put the top back on it. All the boots. I get the top to sit on it correctly. Not gonna work. Damn it. Okay. And there we go. So, we're all done. All, uh, all finished. And you see, this is just, hey, I'm just moving the camera out of the road, guys. Yes, I know, you're all getting seasick. <laughs> um, if I bring it down here. So, this is the case, and this is why I did what I did. All right, was so that they had a relatively nice new computer. Okay, um, the motherboard is a update of the Z97 that we originally built for them. All right, and this will do them. I mean, you know, I, I love the way people sit there and just. Oh, what's going on here? Must be these ones here. I love the way people sit there, right? And they carry on about, you know, oh, you know, when you're building a computer like this, you've got to give them the latest and greatest. Well, look, a Core i5 4590 at 3.3 gig to play card games on Linux, watch YouTube, and check email, you don't need a massively powerful super duper computer okay if this was being used for other stuff you know maybe you know video editing or um you know real good linux gaming okay i can understand i can understand you know people saying oh no you're going to need to get you know, Steam and a graphics card and all sorts of stuff. Her father and her mother literally watch YouTube, check email, play card games that come with MX Linux. That's the basis. That's essentially all this gets used for. Okay? So, I'm not... 
I'm not, you know, really worried. Now, it has USB 3 on the front. And we're all familiar with the back of the Z97 anyway, but, you know, it's got everything they need. They have a um, HDMI monitor, which can just bung into there. They've got wireless keyboard and mouse and analog audio. So that you don't need, for, for, for a PC that, that really is only used for YouTube, really only used for, um, you know, sending and receiving emails, this is perfectly fine. It's the updated version of the Z97. So essentially it's the same system I've got, but it's got a Core i5-4590 rather than a Core i7-4770. Um, it has exactly the same amount of RAM in it, and it now has exactly the same amount of hard drive space as my main, or half the hard drive space my main um, C drive has on the main PC. So this thing is probably more than they need, but like I said, the amount of help her parents have given both us and myself, I feel I should build them a reasonably good PC. Okay? So there's the first system build. A nice, quick, simple one, which is really good. What we've got the problem with next, though, is the other computer, and that is the Windows machine that I have to build today as well. So, there we go. I mean, look, it's a nice little tower case, and this is this is the one thing her father did did want was a tower case. Okay, um, they don't need a card reader. They do need an optical drive, but this is one of these um, gigabyte. What's it called? Yeah, just a gigabyte generic gigabyte case. But this will do. Okay, they, they don't need anything else all right it's got nice blue lights on the front we've got our reset button just there hard drive light works um, usb 3.0 on the front um, it'll do everything her father needs it to do and her mother because her mother just checks facebook okay so a high powered for want of a better term linux gaming rig is simply a waste so there we go and a, that's the first of two system builds done today. There we go. Stick around. We're going to get stuck into the Windows system build coming up for you shortly. Have a good one. Cheers.